Hi guys, my name is Kevin Tesh. I graduated from the Government Hospital Foundation. I'm a premium preparatory user. So I got the 237 marks in the recent connected exam. Uh, finally, I'm here with Great. Dr. Marwan. Congratulations. Sir. Oh, wow. That look of Thank relief you. on your face says it all that finally you've been through that journey, right? Through yes, that sir. ring yeah. of fire and finally coming out with flying colors. Great. So, Doc, uh, please share with me. Uh, the first question to you is, uh, I mean, what were your feelings when you walked into the examination hall? And how were you feeling when you came out of the examination hall? And don't talk about that I was relieved because everybody is relieved after the exam. But then, you know, you must have experienced, I mean, uh, we want to know your experience of paper one, paper two, uh, the butterflies in the stomach. And how did you adapt to all that? Well, going into the paper one examination uh, in, my, in the morning session, my seniors always thought like uh, paper one is difficult, paper two is a clinical part, so you can easily score, you can easily pass out from this uh, FM, from this uh, screening exam. Something it was like paper one was you expected paper, paper one will be difficult. Yeah. It turned out to be so easy, and you were you were wondering what's happening, man. Yes. Uh, after finishing the paper one, so I got uh, relieved because my uh, what always seniors uh, taught uh, taught me that uh, the paper one is uh, difficult, paper two is easy. So this time paper one is uh, easy. So may, maybe paper two also become easy. So I can get easily crack the exam uh, this time. So it's uh, also it's my first attempt. So after uh, entering into the second part, I didn't expect it that uh, I turn off uh, questions because it's uh, all every thing they change the. Uh, clinical pattern they they were they going towards the clinical more clinical side uh, than the factual side it was so difficult compared to the paper one uh, it's uh, paper two is very difficult sir okay so uh, doc like uh, when you are in philippines uh, they put you through all the grind right from your fourth year onwards i presume right yes sir so, uh, so you 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 have to do all the duties that uh, i mean i'll i'll put it like this you do you guys do extended extended internship you know because you have to do all the yes. clerkship work even in your fourth year yes, so uh, you you would have seen a lot of cases in medicine in, in surgery, in uh, OBGY, uh, uh, were the questions that were asked were almost about the same kind of cases that you have seen in Philippines? I mean, uh, or was there something rare syndromes or rare diseases that were asked? No, sir. It's always asked from the main topics only, sir. Because it is uh, the common cases that are asked in the exam. And also they taught me the main important cases which are coming into the clinic, uh, clinics, what we got in the clinics. So they taught me how to manage the patient, how to... Uh, I mean, the point is, you were able to uh, see that whatever they taught you in medical school, that was useful in the main exam as well. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Doc, any any uh, particular experience about Philippines, any good experience you would like to share? A good experience was so many, sir, because every, every year there's, there will be some good moments, there will be some bad moments. I think good moments, I can't pinpointly, this one is the good moment, this one is the... Okay, so there were so many so many parties so that all were, all were so good, right? And during uh, my final good. year also, there were so many. I think the final year is the best best uh, year, I think. It's the best part of my okay. four years in life in the Philippines. Okay, okay. Uh, Doc, my next question is the exam was postponed and as a result of it, a lot of people got distracted. So I want to know what Venkatesh was doing in the last December 2022 and 20 days of January 2023. Your daily schedule. In this time, I used to target on my weaker subjects, sir. Because in my, in the, pre, uh, well, because I'm fixed uh, because of, this uh, 4 is my final exam. So, okay. Uh, previously, I done I was done so many grand tests. Uh, in this in this grand test, I got a uh, very little, uh, little marks in the some some subjects. So I okay. uh, used to use it this time for the majors and the weaker subjects. So. And any books you used during your uh, I mean any FMG oriented books that you used uh, for your preparation? Yeah, I used your uh, Deepak Marwa's FMG solutions. So. Okay, okay, that was for previous year MCQs, right? Okay. Yes, sir. fine, doc. So uh, I mean, uh, the book was pretty voluminous. I would say fifteen hundred pages. So it it would have yes, taken. Sir. I mean, how many readings did you give to the book? I think I nearly two to. I think two times, sir. Two times, I. Two times, okay. Two times because it's in my final in my final year, I started this uh, preparation, sir. So you have invested something like close to two years before you finally sat for this exam. 
Yes, right? So you had completed the course once while you were in Philippines slash, I mean, you know, a couple of online classes were also conducted. And then uh, subsequently, you you were able to, you know, attempt the exam with much more confidence. Uh, okay, Doc, in the end, any dedications you would like to make? Yes, sir. I thankful to my to the preparer team and my parents and my friends and my college DMSF also very helpful to achieve this success. To the part oh, of success. Great, great. So it was a pleasure talking to you, doctor. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.